Yo yo yo, what is going on guys? It is your one, the only bad place right back at you with another video of the Hitman 3 series. So yeah, let's continue where we left off. So at the end of the era, I was unable to save, so we got some like some certain issues I have. So yeah, let's view the cinematic first and let's start on with the uh, video first. Alright, let's do it. It's one weakness. Alright. We turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable. And he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards. And I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. All right. Let's start with the mission called the Farewell. Uh, yep, confirm. And you know what? Let's watch the briefing first before we start on with the game itself. Yeah, so sorry, guys, on it. Let's do it. Old habits. Let's get this shit done, yo. I found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, You'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. <laughs> you won't. That's a classic way to say it. Anyway. All right. So I start on it. The planning. I would. Cause you can't really start where it's like usually sniper spot because it's offline. Yeah, you know me, guys. I'm a goddamn pirate. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna play on casual again. So yeah. So cut me some slack on it. Uh, let's do this. So we gotta do is rendezvous with uh, Diana Burnwood and the Mendoza and a certain her. All right. I mean, honestly, you see, on this game itself, the graphics looks not that bad. All right, there she is. I'm looking fine, well handsome on this outfit, guys. Look at that, man. Perfection. All right. Let's go up to Diana Burnwood. Let's talk to her. All right. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera, not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, forty-seven. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald. Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. 
She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. All right. It is what it is. Here. I got you an invitation, just like old times. Well, thank you. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. No, oh, that's the classic way of saying it. Let's do this, guys. And she is a fine ass vineyard that this guy got, you know, Don Yates. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. <laughs> yeah, that that's not really that obvious, am I right? Alright, let's let's head out there itself and see what, what, what do we have to face. Alright. Here you are, brother. Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Mucho gracias, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I look good. I don't know if this is that jazz or something or what, but yeah. There she is. Tamara Vidal. Alright, but... Let me see. All right. Private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. All right. You know what? <clears throat> let's kill. let's follow this guy, man. This guy looks exactly like me, man. <laughs> exactly like me, man. You wouldn't even know. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what. Nothing quite spoils a party like your guests inexplicably dropping down. Yeah, next day. I've had a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. All right. So you're not sure. Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this? Bro, this guy walks freaking slow, man, with his NPCs. All right. When you... when he goes to the some secluded area, I'm going to make him sleepy sleep. Legend before, through post -truth. Yeah, I like it. All right, he ain't no urban legend, though, guy. Ah, shit, he has a beard. I mean, no, it's not beard, though, it's a goatee. All right, once he moved to his secluded area, he's gonna go sleepy sleep. Alright, come on, come on, walk walk your ass faster, man. Walk your ass faster, man. Alright, right, 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 right. It's nobody. Oh, sleepy sleep, bruh. Sleepy sleep. Alright, right, right. I got you, I got you. Alright, this guy's is Corvo Black. Alright, I'm not gonna make it too obvious here. I'm gonna dump this body I know right in the you know in this shit here. No one's gonna see him. Let's just hope so on that. Alright, I'll put it in the middle so no one can see him. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm, he's awake. You know what? I'll snap his neck. Alright, good night. Alright. Alright, let's get down there. Let's see what we can do from there itself. I guess. Hmm. Uh, look at this vineyard. It's so big. Wow, it's freaking beautiful, mate. Alright. Oh, I can't unlock the door from here. Shit. All right. Give me a sec. Let me head up first. All right. Let's head through this part of the area. And can I get in through here? Oh, yes, I can. I love those doors, bruh. All right. Let's go back here. I'll talk to the reception. 
See that I am Mr. Coral Black. Have a good one. Thank you, Ready? Hello there. I'm Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. Grazie, my friend. Oh, wait. The wall down there. Definitely can't go through there itself, but uh, wait. I think we can go through. I think we can go through here, guys. Let's see what we can do from here itself. Oh man, I tell you that, man. Not really good in Hitman games. <laughs> okay, we, uh, yeah, we can definitely go through here. Uh, oh yeah, can we get through here? No, we can't. No, we can't. Okay, wait. Come on, dude. It's like early in the morning. Early in the evening or something. You know, get started vomiting on the shit. Yeah, come on. Can we like go down through one of the places around here? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, sir. Bro, I look fashionable as fuck, man. Suit. And you know the classic. I have sneakers. That's how we rock them nowadays. All right, that's Tamara Vidal and Diana Burnwood. All right, let's 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 go there. Oh, hello there. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's the ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems, except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him, Mr. Black. I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. All right. <laughs> they try and bring him back in one piece. Don't hold your breath. Don't there it, it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Let's see from here itself. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. We we'll go through here this particular way so that we don't get spotted. And yeah, we do get spotted through here. Wait, let me. You know what? Let me go through here. And let me get through here. And okay guys, let's hide here. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates socialize friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for me. Bring me the three Malbec grapes and change your mood. Yes, as in like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me over a bridge. How's that? <laughs> three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Damn, this guy's like bitchy as fuck, man. Alright. We will go into the guy itself and we'll, you know, give him the ye old sleepy sleep. Without oh, <clears throat> without the neck crack, you know. Oh, come on, I left it right here. Yeah, okay. Oh right, sleepy sleep, bruh. Sleepy sleep. All right, let me see. Or right, we can actually dump him inside there, but okay, let me pick up the winery key and we we'll discuss this. And can we dump him? Ah, can't puncture. Okay, we have to dump him in this remover a bit. Don't worry, we won't grind him, guys. He'll be awake. I mean, if no one, you know, no one <laughs> on this shit all of a sudden, am I right? All right, let's get to the. I don't know what is this, like. Grip picking shit? Yeah, let, let, let's get in there. You know, people mostly will know that I'm here, so. I try to sneak around a bit. No, oh, that kind of shit. Yeah, let me grab that. All right, let me keep it hidden. Let's quickly get out here. And here as well. And let's see. Where do we start picking? Alright, uh Okay, I think I think it's oh this is not the ones. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. So yeah, that's 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 number one of it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh there's one more there. And there's one more there. And there's another one over there. Alright, let's pick that. And there's one more over there, and let's pick that as well. 
All right. Let's go back to the winemaker and tell him that we are done and we can, you know, he can do the bloody tour so itself. <laughs> All right. He Mr. Had the... Vargas, I have the three grapes. You, you are the grapes, Signore. I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. All right, will do. And let's you know, get back into Corvus Black's outfit. All right, and let me disguise as Corvus Black. Anyways, guys, you know, I'm so sorry for delaying the Hitman series a bit. I wasn't really feeling that well, like, for the past few days. So, yeah, I'm feeling much better right now. Much more energy. So that's why I have more of a, you know, recording style to it. So let's um go to the tour and maybe we can try to like no murder tomorrow without eliminate her ah my fellow wine lovers hello hey, what's up? welcome to vineda james i do apologize for the delay the malbec grape is a demanding mistress so i am gabriel vargas chief one maker and i will be your tour guide any questions before we start yes but you're not going to like them i uh, We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. All right. Busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So, how so, do you no. like Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on distilling every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season. Graves do tend to pile up. Luckily, they have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. All right. Really, the Diana really just really trying to review me or some shit? Somehow you don't seem to. I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between Five, 15 days. Wow. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Mm. Fascinating. Wow. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? Let me ask some questions, question. Ben. It's perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. All right, indeed I will. Let's check out up there, guys. Mm, let's see what we got up there itself. Are they coming though? Come on, man. Come on. I mean, woman too. Alright, where the hell are they? Wow, they really legitly taking their time. Come on, get your ass up. Alright, let's ask about this. Large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak and each contain up to 500 gallons of grey must. Interesting. Are those hmm. cooling sockets? They are indeed, similar. The cooling system allows us to fine tune the entire process temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Pineda Yates is quite simple. From the state of the art by making facility hmm. to our carefully nurtured grape stock. Hand picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose to make the best Venus in Argentina and beyond. Hmm. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Indeed. 
Come on, stop knocking on me. All right. And this guy is like going down there itself. She's just still staying here though. All right, I think I can do this. All right. It's a good night. And I'm sorry, man. Boom. All right. Let's hide the body inside here. They're gonna have a little of human juice straight up, man. Let's continue to the barrel. All right, let me keep this. Let's go. What happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's mm. proceed. I don't think she'll be finding a way out anytime soon, guys. <laughs> Ah, come on. Uh. And so we arrived to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Close. Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room High above our heads. Remarkable. Damn. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead. Very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Harold get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Harold. Once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> All right. Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. All right. It's another one again, so I think we can actually follow that. Let's hear what he want, how what he needs to say. Let me a uh, blend in. <laughs> Flowers, Mr. Yates wants the nineteen forty-five Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did the aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus? Unexpectedly come for dinner. Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, flowers. A See what we got. Root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence. A calculated risk. All right. Already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. Last year of World War II. So that's the password. I think World War II. Uh, I think it's 19, uh, 1945. It should be. Uh, <laughs> so I'm good in my history, but. You know, in my in my country, we don't really learn much about this uh, history about war and shit, guys. So it's mostly about you know about our you know, our our own history, which is not entirely interesting. So yeah, let's get inside here. Let's see what we can do. I remember. Oops. So sorry about that. I almost hit myself. Yep. Okay. Uh. Oh, we can get up here. Okay. Let me hang here. Hmm. 
Wait, they're not going anywhere. Okay. He's on the other side. What in the world? Do I really have to go in through here? But whoa, wait! Can can't get through here itself. So okay, this guy is here. That guy is there. Let me stand up. Okay, you don't see me. Yeah, not very obvious. You can see me. Oh. Sleepy sleep, brother. Sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep. Okay, let me disguise. Let me. Oh shit. Let me drag the body before he switches up. Let me dump him there. Alright. I hope he doesn't find the body itself, so. <laughs> if not, it's gonna be fucked up. Okay, so yeah, let me let me see what do we have here. Yeah, let me grab the key, wineries worker key, and let me get the tier one access card. Let me grab the shotgun. Yeah, all right. Let's make it. Yeah, not so obvious. All right, so he's a winery already. So yeah, let's 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 go in through here. Can we? Ah, uh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, let's go back down through this part of the position. Let me. Take out a shotgun. Let me drop it here. I don't think we technically need that shotgun because it's too damn loud. That definitely ain't my style. No, I didn't even know that you could actually come through here. Okay, then. Okay, my bad on that. I think we have the what already? Yeah, we have that. Okay, we have it. Let's get in through here. You know what, guys? I'm not going to give much of a chance. I'm going to eliminate him straight up. Because these two people are just going to start talking already. Yeah. Good night. Okay. Let me pop these two guys. Let me disguise as a sommelier. Alright. Alright. Best thing is, is to hide the body right first. That's like the main few important things that I must technically do. So yeah, you know what? Let's drop the bodies in here. Let me hide the gun. And drag this guy. Nothing to see here. This will be sleeping forever. Won't be sleeping a while. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's drop him here. Okay, so this area this this area suits this shirt. So last year on World War II is 1945. Alright. All right, uh, let's get the the what, what was this? I forgot the was in it. Grand Paladin or some shit. Uh, all right. Hey flowers. Hello, hello. Come, here. Come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh? Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Okay, let's get up there. I guess uh, definitely waiting. Silent attack. Oh, I guess not. Alright, we will have to eliminate Don Archibald Yates also as well, but... Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. Oh, shit. Alright, I think... Uh, I think you can hear. Yeah. Let me... I need to hide my guns first, so... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, can I, can I hide, hide something here? Yeah, I can. Alright, I think we can get patted down already, guys. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's go up. See what we can do. Yep, get frisk. I have to give you a pat down if you want to come through here, parcero. Do it, man. You got, you got my... Uh, well, you know, just security precaution. Indeed it is, indeed it is. We're good. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, so you're ready to go, mate. All right. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry. Of course. To Cortazar. 
the very soul of discretion. Good man. <laughs> I like how 47 says it, man. He technically knows everything. With the barcode on his head, it's not very really damn obvious, it. though. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. All right. We've always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. <laughs> All right, let's place the wine. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. All right. This is a 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. And thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. All right. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. I wonder how 47 knows about that shit as well, man. Jesus. But from partnership, we are but a few, and yet together we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes, here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Moore. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely not right. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. And following this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. You're lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. Hmm. I'm gonna start to betray him as such. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Oh, shit. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. All right, guess we have to save her. So let's see what we can do from here itself. I'll go through here. Get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today. By oh shit! All right, all right, all right, all right. We have to get this thing done. Okay. Okay, so this guy's here. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to move off. Alright, is the guy moving off? Yes, he is. So let's sleepy sleep this guy quickly. I'm gonna disguise as the mercenary here. Okay, I'm gonna bring his body quickly. I hope he doesn't turn around yet. This will be a quick one. Okay, oh my god, I am glitching. What the fuck, dude? Come on, don't let him turn yet. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. 
Oh man, come on. Christ's sake. Alright, alright, okay. And that's it. The game is a bit weird. So sorry about that, guys. Fucking hell. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta sleep him. I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna make it quick. Okay. Let me disguise as the mercenary. I can't let him turn around. Oh man, I don't want to feel a second round of this shit. So I'm not gonna let this thing glitch out. Alright, let's dump him in. Quickly. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful. This is very beautiful. Alright, let me head up here. Okay, yeah, let me open the door. Close the door. Alright, both of them are going up. So technically, they can see me here. Alright, I think you know what I can do? I can... One thing I can do is... Uh, I throw a coin. Right here. Alright, he will come down. And see what he can grab from here itself. All right, go, 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 go. Come on, guy. Gee, just walk down and check the coin. And then I'll... I'll fucking make him a sleepy sleep. All is cool, all is cool. All right, right, right. All is cool, bro. All is cool, my friend. Don't do it, man! Oh. Good night, man. Good night, good night, good night. Okay, I'm gonna... We still got eight minutes, so we gotta get to Diana before she gets murdered or some shit. Uh, Don Yates is still down there, so let me get rid of this body right in this cupboard here. All right. All right, you have a good time sleeping in the closet, man. All right, now let's let's get to him. He has a silencer. Okay, let me pick up this. Let me pick up this. Okay. Okay, he's outside there. Okay, let's let me get rid of these motherfuckers. Boom. He's dead. Let me get rid of this motherfucker right here. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. That was like a crazy two-shot pop right there, man. All right, let me dump him. All right. Stalker. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug courtesan do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. Mm, we won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. All right. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. All right. And do as you say, mate. What are we gonna do from here? Wait for Yates. All right. Can we aim? We can't. Okay. All right. We can hide him there after you murder him, though. So yeah. You'll not be able to see that. What's up, uh, my Before twin? Pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping a crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortezar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don't. You shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Oh, Ooh, all right. Good night. 
Good night. I'll disguise it here to security well, first. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. Yep, indeed. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let me drag. Can I drag this? Yeah, we can drag this. All right. Let's dump him here. All right. Let me hide you two right here as well. All right, and you know what? Let's hide him too as well, just in case you know. You gotta leave no stone unturned, bruh. You gotta leave no stone unturned. All this signature gloves. Mission story completed. Well, of course, I'm just going to disguise myself here to security first before I get out of the room. So it's like, it'll be easier for me to get out of here. So, all right. Let's quickly get out of here, guys. Uh, we eliminate. So these are the current both ways that I use to actually uh, eliminate both of them. So I feel like it's an easier way to do it. But I think you can use a sniper location as well. But of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a pirate. <laughs> I don't need to use that. All right, so I think I will disguise. I have a disguise right here, so we can straight away go from there itself. I mean, it's much easier for me to escape. Yeah, that 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 is why. Uh, wait, do we? Is this the place where I just fucking uh? uh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely the place I murdered Cole man. All right, there's my stuff. So that's it, guys. All that's planned. Like clockwork. <laughs> okay, let's go back down. Uh, where do she? All right, I've been fine, man. I've been fine. I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, wait. Can we? There's another escape over there as well, but they yeah. are. Yeah, let's go through here, guys. So, yep. Alright, so in the end, we have to do the tango with uh, Diana. So, anyways, guys, um, I'm going to stop the video right here. Because if I do the tango with her, I know as the game, it will crash. But as long as she will just say that, uh, ask, him to, ask him to meet her at the forest. So, yeah. So, after this, uh, we will do the next mission itself. So, sorry for the delay. So, yeah. And these guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you all in the next one.